Hello there gang, uh, this is me again, um, I do apologise for any uh, technical problems that we've been experiencing so far, um, so what am I doing here, I hear you cry, what the hell is going on, well I tell you what this is, this is the manifestation of boredom and extreme despair, okay, so I thought that what I would do is take advantage of this boredom and extreme despair by sharing a couple of bang hot, fresh off the press news stories from around the globe with all you people right now. I can see new pairs of eyes chicken in. Everyone's trickling in to find out the latest three minute news segment. So I'm going to try and keep it to three minutes. So let's go. We're starting off in Africa, right? In a town called Beda, one of my favourite towns actually in the Niger state. One of the uh, one of the best ones in the Niger state. And um, we're going to learn all about this character. He's called Mohammed Belu Abubakar. Car, great name, great name. Try and say that three times fast. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, he's a controversial figure in his hometown of Beda because he's married more than a hundred women. This geezer, I swear, if I met him, he's worthy of at least a handshake. I'm 24 years old. He's 92. He's got 97 wives. That is a wife for every year of his life, plus a surplus of five. Is should there be an accident or a car crash or something like that? So this guy definitely has it on. Uh, when asked why does he have why does he have a hundred uh, wives, his his response was it is an assignment and I will keep doing it until the end. He genuinely believes that this is something that has been uh, issued by God. Best thing that happened to this guy, right? And hello to you people. I can see Will Ailing there. Hello Anne Wise. Chris Pilkington, the Pilkmeister, Pilkmeister General, Sherry Arkan, you're all coming through. Hello and welcome. Um, <laughs> so we're talking about Mohammed Bello Abubakar and his many, many wives. Um, and, and, and when asked, he said that it was issued by God. He's going to keep having wives till he dies. And interestingly, he's actually fathered 185 kids. 185 kids, the majority of which are now dead. So... Bless him anyway. Um, moving on to Zimbabwe then. Interesting story of a white rhino called Mark who actually got his snout and horn caught in a tire, caught in a tire which actually prevented him from being able to eat and drink. Um, this is a true story, bash off the press. Uh, and what I think is perhaps, it's quite a bizarre story anyway, but what's more bizarre about the story is that there was a rhino called Mark. Bit of a plain name. For a rhino, really, if you meet a rhino, you'd expect it to be called Augustus or, or Zorro or Zainab or something quite interesting. But Mark, I don't know. Hello, Mark. You're right. It's not. It's not really the one. But yeah. So um, Mark, he really struggled. He couldn't. He couldn't get by um, with a tire on his snout and his and his horn. Um, so in the end, I tranquilized him, and uh, now he's he's all right. So that concludes my news segment. I'm going to try and keep these a little bit more regularly uh, over the next few days just to, to cure my own inescapable boredom um, and dissatisfaction with life in general. So keep uh, keep tuning in, guys. Good to see a few familiar faces down there. Mwah. Peace out.